for it at the time, as weird as that sounds, but of course I knew, you know, when sleepovers started in the sixth grade, I was more excited than the other girls. Do you know what I'm saying? I remember my first crush was on my math teacher in grade six, Mr. Sutton, with the handlebar mustache. I can remember, you know, in grade three being gay. I mean, I certainly was, you know, in my, in the, in the, uh, in the school photograph. Everyone is looking forward, and I'm like gazing across the way at this guy over there, who I won't say his name because he would find that embarrassing. I was about five years old, and I knew who I was. And very, very shortly thereafter, I'd say maybe I was going on six when I understood just how wrong that was. You homo, dirty faggot, queer, dyke, dyke, faggot this and little queer, fucking dyke, faggot, sissy, sissy girl, a freak. Loser. You don't understand what being gay is. You get called gay on the playground, but like you just know that it's not something that you want to be called by other people. I was picked on on a daily basis. I was bullied because my name was Perry. I got Perry Fairy a lot. They bullied as a group, and it was just easy to pick on the weak kid. That was me. I was walking down the hall um, and, you know, just minding my own business. One of the bullies uh, did a whole body check and I was carrying a bunch of books. And he just jumped up, gave me a body check, called me a fag, and I was left there in the middle of the hallway with books and all my stuff covered everywhere. I remember seriously running home as soon as school was finished, as fast as I could to try to avoid any confrontation. I experienced hazing at the hands of some girls who were supposedly my friends because I wasn't, I wasn't enough of a girl. I got so tired of my father beating me up and calling me a fag, I finally told him, look, if you, you can do this to me all you want, but you're, unless you're going to kill me, you're never going to change who I am. You're trying to be lost in this, this mess of people, and so to be pointed out that way, it was horrible. People cared a lot about my sexuality. They were angered by it. I couldn't care what they did. I don't care what they do in their own time. But they found it really important to share with me that I was different. My voice was higher. Um, I wasn't the most athletic, so I was a pretty easy target. When I hit high school, um, even though I was comfortable with my, my own sort of self-being, um, other people weren't. I already felt like I didn't fit in. I already felt like no one could ever understand me. and then. These people made it their personal mission to push me away even further. The most hurtful thing is when you're called a fag. It was such a derogatory term that was used so across the board. Yeah, I definitely got teased, especially when I was younger. Um, you know, you got called fag and stuff. And um, I feel like at least like externally, I was okay, but like I kind of didn't like myself at all. It got to one point where one day I just had enough and I went home to my parents and I just said, I'm not going back to that school. It comes to a point where it becomes unbearable and you have to just be what you want to be. Enough is enough, I have to do this for me. I can't hide anymore. People assume you're straight and then eventually you have to go on record and say, no, I'm not. I didn't really discover who I was until I was like 20. I came out at 28, which was really late. I'm a late bloomer. <laughs> Part of the problem about coming out, like say if you have to sit down and tell your parents you're gay or something, is you're talking about sex. Uh, it was probably the most frightening thing in the world. It took over a year of just thinking about it and thinking, how am I going to tell them? I'm scared out of my mind, like scared out of my mind. I'm a writer, so I always work with deadlines. I gave myself a deadline. <laughs> I talked to my parents, because that was it. I thought, if my mom is cool with it, I don't care what anybody else thinks. And of course, she was amazing, like textbook amazing. I was sure that once I told everybody, everybody would just totally abandon me. When I first came out, 
My mother said, well, no matter what, we love you. And these are the most important words. One night I just had a couple too many beer and I called them and I told them. And even though on the other end they were all crying, it was like this great big knot had just disappeared out of my chest. And it was like, wow, it's amazing how we hold things uh, in our body. I did tell a few of my uh, a few friends and they simply just abandoned me. Now it's liberating. Before, I literally, it was painful. When I came out to my mom at 29 years old, I remember saying to her, because I had done so much internal work at this point, uh, don't ever blame yourself for me being gay. That's just the way I was born. Men I choose in life are completely your fault. <laughs> First of all, I was scared to death for no good reason, as it turns out. I think it's very hard to be a 14-year-old kid who comes out. Very hard. I came out to my parents when I was 24. I did that after I won the Olympics. It didn't go very well. There's coming out to your friends, there's coming out to your, you know, family, there's coming out to your parents, there's coming out to your workplace, there's and coming out to yourself. And coming out to yourself, so it's a process. Um, and they, they took the news really, really badly. Um, my mom and dad are both from a small town and they just didn't know how to process this stuff and it would take many, many, many years, over 10 years, to sort of come full circle. I consider the process of coming out as liberation, freedom. It's very liberating to come out. It's very liberating not to have to lie. And if you're not out, you are lying all the time. It was like my whole life started to open up. It was just incredible. It was incredible. It was like a giant weight had been taken off my shoulders when I sat down with my mum and had dinner with her. And actually, she said the words. She said to me, you're gay, darling, and I'm like, yes. It was like a clarity. It was like if you're just, you've got mud on your windshield, whew, it was gone. I won't allow myself to be bullied anymore. But that has come from being confident in who I am and, and accepting who I am. I never thought I'd find anybody or figure out who I am. I thought I was destined to be lonely and confused. It gets better. My life is full of friends and full of family. I have an incredible supportive family now. Not only did it get way better, but I actually make a living now for being queer and being a voice for the queer community, which I'm honored to do. There are so many people who have persevered and dealt with the struggles and who have been liberated from the kind of bullying and the kind of circumstances that you might be facing today. It definitely gets better. I mean, as a teenager, it seems like it's the end of the world. And later on, it's so much better. You can't believe that the stuff that you were stressing about seemed that important. In my son's class, a lot of the kids say, I have two moms. And they don't, but they wish they did. So to any gay kids who are watching, not only does it get better, it gets great. There's all sorts of advantages to being gay. When you fly in Air Canada, you get put in the front of the plane because um, the guy behind the counter, he's gay too. If you're young and you're being bullied, you think that it's the end of the world. Well, I'm here to tell you that it gets better. You have no idea that sometimes you're going through some really rough times, but those rough times are just making you a stronger person. Wait till you jump over that hill and you'll definitely see something much more fabulous and much more rewarding. Dealing with the, the, the kids beating me up and pushing me into lockers and calling me a fag, it felt like at that moment it would never get better. But I promise you, it does get better. In fact, it gets so much better. The roughest years are your teen years. And what is so cool is that when you make it through your teen years, you now have control. Life gets way better. Uh, it actually can blow you away if you just hang in there. I think that there was a turning point in my life, and it's when I decided to be myself, expose myself, be who I am, come out. Each year, kept getting sequentially better. It's really made me who I am today. Uh, I'm so much more strong and on stable ground now. Like, I know who I am, I know what I'm about, so anyone else can tell me different things to try to bring me down, but it doesn't matter because I'm standing on solid ground. I mean, one thing about being gay is that it forces you to kind of look outside of the box, which is a good thing. This too shall pass. I know this is an old cliche, but it does. It makes you stronger. It makes you a better person. If you're feeling alone and afraid, I get it. 
but what I also get now is it gets better. By the time I was in you know, my early 20s and I was seeing my friends from high school and things get married and settle down and have kids and things, I went, I got lucky. As you get older, things that matter are different. You're not in the schoolyard. You're not trying to get picked for the baseball team. With where you're from is intolerance to your sexuality. You're going to reach an age where you're going to have the ability to escape that reality. And it is, it is so much better. Everything passes. I think that was the one thing, too, that I tried to always keep hanging on to, is that it could be the worst time of your life, but it always passes. It got better as soon as, soon as I came out of the closet. I was, really, I was really nervous to tell my straight male friends. And when I told them, it was like the way of the world was lifted from me because they took it so well. I was an Olympic swimmer. I won the gold medal in Barcelona in 1992 in the 100 meter backstroke. I'm openly gay and it gets better. I would say it definitely gets better. It gets better. It gets better. It does get better. It gets better. It definitely gets better. <laughs> it gets so much better. It gets a hell of a lot better. It just gets better. It does get better. It gets better. You don't know that now. You don't know what you don't know. But I know that it gets better. <laughs>